Greetings, everyone. This video discusses a very important and often overlooked aspect of managing photos, that is archiving and making backups. A reliable backup system will let you recover photos if your computer has a catastrophic failure. Even external or solid-state hard drives can crash with age, wear, and damage. Don't trust having only a single copy of an image. Whenever possible, always have at least one backup copy of work, preferably two. Also, keep an additional archive in an off-site location. We will use Exposure for this demonstration. If you don't own Exposure, download the fully functional trial from our website. There are two flavors of data storage options for image archives. Connected drives are devices like network-attached storage or a portable unit like a USB hard drive. We recommend storage devices that use a fast connection, like USB Type-C or Thunderbolt. The transfer rate of the device will impact the responsiveness when using it. Saving an archive to an offline drive or to an off-site location provides a high level of protection. A simple way to back up your work in a different location is using backup services like Backblaze and CrashPlan, or cloud file sync services like Dropbox, OneDrive, or Google Drive. Hybrid systems like Drobo and Synology work a lot like Dropbox or OneDrive, but they are self-hosted. It's a nice option if you want to avoid paying subscription fees for your photo archives. When processing images, there are several opportunities for making backups throughout the workflow. The first backup opportunity happens when copying images from camera cards. In the camera card dialog, check the box in the destination section to back up to a second location while they're being copied to your computer. This does not include exposure sidecar files, which are later created when editing and organizing. Internal hard drives can quickly fill up with large raw files. An external or network storage unit is a great place to move images after processing is complete to free up space. Entire folders of photos can be simply moved or copied to another drive in the folder panel. When they're copied or moved in exposure, the move will automatically include the sidecar files containing your edits. A backup is a redundant copy. It includes the photos and any retouching and grading effects apply to them. The simplest way to make a complete backup is to copy the entire folder of images into your backup device after completing editing. When you move or copy a folder, Exposure preserves any subfolder hierarchy, so you can easily keep the same photo organization in your active and offline libraries. When revisiting an old archive of work, simply reconnect the storage device to your computer, then Click the plus button in the folder panel and add a new bookmark to the top folder of the device. Exposure will begin building a cache in the background for the new attached folder. Then you can browse and search for specific images and use filters like flags, ratings, labels, or metadata. And that's all we have for this video. Thanks for watching. The organizing methods demonstrated in this video are great options for creating and managing photo archives. For more editing tutorials and additional information about exposure, visit our website.